Yeah, it's boiling and cooking. Oh wow, it gets smaller. That's cool. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Stephen and welcome to Mainland Malaysia. This week I'm going to be checking out Go Eco's trekking project and I'm so excited to show you what you get up to. Let's start it. Alrighty guys, first stop, we're heading into the jungle. So we actually quickly stopped at one of the Batu villages. Now the Batu people are the indigenous people of Malaysia, similar to the Aborigines of Australia. So we actually got picked up one of the Batu villages because they're going to be our guide as we head into the forest, into the rainforest, because it is too dangerous for us to go out there on our own. Also, you're probably thinking I'm crazy wearing long pants, but there are mosquitoes, there are leeches in this forest. I need to be kitted up. Still deciding whether to have the Jurassic Park theme song in my head or the Avatar theme song. What do you guys reckon? Does it look more like Jurassic Park or Avatar here? Yeah, but... Is this for it to tell us where we are now? Every, everywhere we go we use the GPS so we know where we go if we don't. Right, so we can see our whole route. So we can Jess, how much do you feel like you're trekking through Jurassic Park right now? <laughs> you can already see the like sunlight slowly disappearing. Yeah. <laughs> Which one are the sun bear marks? Is it oh, like scratches? Yeah, these scratch marks are some here. Yeah. Wow, that's so cool. So we found some like sun bear marks. Some, so you can see here as they've tried to climb up the tree. The, the dots are from when they go up and the like actual scratches are when they're coming down. That's so cool. An area where the sun bears have digged for um, potatoes. You can see all like, you know, the dirt's been moved around. Hopefully you found something. Found a little river. This looks like a good place to stop for lunch. Been trekking for about two hours now. Okay. Big leg spread. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> So we're not just trekking through the jungle for fun, we're actually here for a few reasons. One of the main reasons is to deter poaching just through our presence. So a lot of people come here and poach. There's a lot of critically endangered, highly endangered, endangered animals here like tigers, elephants. We're also on the lookout for pug marks. We GPS track the information and we provide it to different organizations around the world. With the data we can hopefully get the government involved with more conservation efforts here in the rainforest. So we found a mouse deer pug mark and we've just taken the GPS and we're entering in the coordinates so we can track it. Can I click done? That's where we found it. Woohoo! We've made it out the jungle. <laughs> to the Bartek village to come play some soccer with the kids and they're a little bit shy so they've been trailing us walking behind us as we walk to the football field. Hopefully when we play some soccer they won't be so shy anymore. <laughs> I feel like they're slowly warming up. Mm, warm up. They will. Our shelter's gone. Uh, 
Alrighty guys, it is the next day and a bunch of volunteers, we've all come out back to the jungle and this time we're actually going to camp for the night. So it's my job to go and find leaves for our shelter. As you guys saw when we arrived, the volunteers have built a shelter a couple of weeks ago and we've been coming once a week and um, yeah, when we got here the shelter had fallen but I think we've kind of fixed it. So I've gone to find leaves to put on the bottom of the shelter floor because that's where we are going to be sleeping and then a couple of us are collecting firewood and some bamboo because that's how we're going to be cooking our dinner tonight. I don't know how much help I am. <laughs> All right guys, let's give you a rainforest room tour. As you can see, pretty much the last batch of volunteers that came through, I actually constructed this with the leaves, which is really cool. And they've used some sticks as well as bamboo to prop this up. And this is pretty much going to be the shelter for the night. Because we've come and it's in monsoon season, this is all wet. So we've got some dry leaves, which is pretty much going to be our floor where we're going to sleep tonight. Jess, this is how many leaves you're meant to get. <laughs> we are camping next to a river, which would be nice to fall asleep to because you hear the flow of the river. But I'm hoping no lychees know we're up there and can sense us because they loved my blood yesterday and hopefully they're not smelling it and wanting to come for a bit of a snack later on tonight. So our task is to try and find this leaf. As you look up, there are a lot of different types of leaves here, but they need this specific leaf to cook on. Oh, so, so we're using these to cook on? Yes. Oh, that's cool. So what's the difference between the ones we sleep on? I don't know. On? <laughs> I don't know, but I can't find them. Well, I think we found a stash of them. No, I'm not too sure though. It's hard to kind of tell. Well, this one has a lot of... Oh no, they both have the stems. And, and they both have the lines on them. Woo! After like leaving the campsite to go and find the trees that we need, there was a whole bunch of them right here. <laughs> I've ever cooked on leaves before. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be interesting to see how dinner's gonna turn out. That's so cool. It's not the most unique work in a kitchen we have. Mm -hmm. Let's just hope we can start a fire, see some smoke. Otherwise, we ain't eating tonight. Yeah. That's looking good though. I'm in the fire expert. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but we are in the Malaysian jungle and we can hear gibbons calling out to each other. They would be wild gibbons. There isn't any enclosures or zoos around here. Wow, that is so cool. Alrighty guys, dinner is officially cooking. Careful of the fire. Well, that one's a good sleeping bag. Good length. <laughs> yeah, it's boiling and cooking. Oh, that oh, race looks done. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Very done. Yeah. Out here, there's no real way of telling if there's if the food is done. So that is good news. We totally guessed. There's no oven beeper timer. We don't even know how hot that fire is. Mmm, smells good. Yeah? yeah. All right. Do you want to do a first smells taste good. test? Mmm. Yeah. Hot, hot. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, it is now a few hours later and we've jumped back into the car because we're going to go and drive around to try and find some different animals. We have our torches, Sorry. which is very bright in my eyes. Sorry. And we're going to go see if we can try and um, ID some of the different animals in the park. Because most of the animals in the jungle are nocturnal. Fingers crossed we... Wait, not fingers crossed we find some tigers because that might be a bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> With your scary eyes it looks weird. <laughs> Good morning everybody, how are you guys doing today? It is now the next day and um, if you asked me what you wanted to do after camping overnight, I would answer, <laughs> we're going caving, cave trekking, cave diving because it is so wet in here. We've pretty much just come with one of the local guides as like an initiative to bring more like income and tourism into the area and we've come to one of the caves. Oh wow, it's so flooded the cave. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's usually dry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Super slippery, so watch your start, okay? Okay. Oh, squishy. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, what was this cave called again? Shooting Star Cave. Slippery. It's like so quiet in this cave. <laughs> it's like an eerie silence. Are those bats? Oh wow. They look so small. Okay, the water's dried up a little bit, just mainly at the entrance. It's not too many mosquitoes in here, which is nice. And there's just bats flying overhead. It's almost like we have a bit of a staircase here <laughs> to get us up. Yeah. What is it, a spider? It's like a, like a scorpion. Is it a scorpion? Uh, no. Or you think it looks like one? Yeah, it looks like oh, one. Oh yeah, you can see the pincers at the front. What's a snake skin doing up there? Why? What type of weird snakes do you have here in Malaysia? <laughs> that means he's still here. Oh yeah, there's more snake skin. Yeah, yeah. So he has a friend. Oh wow, it gets smaller, it's like crouch. And they need to get even lower to get past this bit. <laughs> I like the way you're doing your walk. I'm gonna copy that. <laughs> Our exit's been blocked off by a pond. So I think we're gonna head back the other way. Yay, I see the entrance. Oh, and some bats are flying in. Bats that killed the snake. Fingers crossed, there's no leeches on my ankles right now. <laughs> That was really fun guys, highly recommend it. Okay, I think that's it for the jungle activities. I think we're heading back into the city. <laughs> that's pretty much inside the cave where we were just walking through. It is our last night here in Meripo and I cannot stop coming up onto the rooftop to watch the sunset. It is so pretty, like how amazing is this area? To celebrate our survival of the camping trip, our neighbours have actually invited us over for dinner. So we're having another traditional Malay dinner, which I'm so excited about because they are like the best meals. You can go out to restaurants and stuff and the meals do taste really good, but it doesn't taste as good as like a local cooked meal. So we're going to be going and doing that tonight. And then tomorrow we're going to be going to a place called Ipo, which is another place in Malaysia. We had to dry our shoes out on the rooftop because they got so wet in the caves. Why didn't we bring any wet shoes? We never come properly prepared. I guessed right. I was like, where is Steve? And I was like, guessing you were gonna be on the rooftop. Hey, you brought a blanket. No. What is <laughs> it's your sarong for dinner. Oh. In Malaysia, whenever you're having like a traditional meal and stuff like that, you need to be wearing a sarong. I've got mine on. And I'm gonna put Steve on. Do you need help? Yeah, probably. I can't remember how to turn one on. <laughs> <laughs> I still think you got a belly. <laughs> oh wow, so many different dishes. So, so pumpkin curry dinner? spinach. Yeah. Teramakasi. Teramakasi. <laughs> Happy birthday, buddy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Being able to cook that dinner just in the middle of the jungle was actually so much fun. If you were interested in volunteering right here, just head to goeco.org. They have all the information for you. See you guys next time. Hey, go